another turning point A fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist Directs you where to go So make the best of this test And don't ask why It's not a question But a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life Hi guys, this is How To Play Good Riddance, Time Of Your Life by Green Day. A fantastic song, very straightforward chords themselves, but it's the picking uh, riff at the start of the song and the speed of the thing as well as the strumming that, that tends to catch some people out. So you definitely want to be following the chord sequence and tab, the link to which is in the description below. But uh, other than that, follow this video, I will try and show you all about it. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe below for more easy songs. Let's get you in for a close up. So now I'm not singing along as well, I can show you exactly what this goes like without messing up a little bit. So we have this pattern with our pick, which is an arpeggio pattern, which means single notes out of a chord. And the chord we're playing is a standard G chord with the third and fourth finger down. And then the C add nine chord to a D or a D sus four, it doesn't really matter because that thinnest string isn't played in, in the riff as it is. You can vary between a D and a D sus4 to taste really, don't worry too much about it. Probably go for a standard one if you're unsure. If we just strum it together a little first and then we'll get the picking part later in the video, I'm sure I'll leave a link so you can skip to the picking if that's what you want to focus on. We have two bars of G which would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the C add nine. Three, four, just for one bar, and then the D chord, two, three, four, just for one bar as well. So all in all, two, C, and a D, G, G, C, and a D. So let's play that along together just to make sure we've got a handle on the basics of this song. If this is something you're unable to do, you want to go for an easier song, because this is as easy as it gets with this particular song. In a one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, and C add nine to the D. Another turning point to C stuck in the D. G, 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 C, add nine straight to a D. Okay, and then for the bridge, we have the next section is an E minor, and if you want to keep this third finger down, that would be cool as well. One, two, three, four, this makes it an E minor seven. We go for the normal D chord. C, add nine, and to a G, so that is... So make the best of C add 9 to a G. Same again, E minus 7 to a D. C add 9 back to G. And to finish off that sequence, it's just E minor to a G twice and then a D. It's something back to a G chord. E minor back to G. E minor. D major, then back to what we were doing before, which was C, then a D. 
So to follow everything that's happening there and to be able to play along with me, which is what I'd like you to do now, you're gonna have to follow that chord sequence, which is in the description. Get the chord sheet up in front of you. Maybe try and get this video and the chord sheet on two sides of the screen. That would be the ideal way to do it, I'm sure. On Max and, and on PCs, you, you can find a way to do that now. That's the best way to be able to follow what I'm doing. Use the video as reference and a prompt, but also use your chord sheet. So we can go from the start of the song now, which is starting from that same pattern, G, G, C, and then D. We do that twice, and then we're into the singing. After this, we're going to look at the picking pattern. So let's have a go at this now. In a one, two, three, four, G, G again. And then a C, C to a D, G, G, C. And then the singing begins and that keeps going as normal. Another turning point to G, then to a C. Time grabs you by the wrist, a C, then to a D. Next section, this is E minor 7, third finger stays down. So make the D chord a C add 9 back to G That again E minor Then a D And C add 9 back to G Chorus part E minor G E minor G E minor D From E minor Deep up third finger down if you can It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you have a D chord back to G. Okay, so the strumming kicks up a notch at that section. Once the whole song's gone through once, what I would do for the majority of this, after that strumming pattern, even I wasn't doing this, uh, this picking pattern during singing, and it is difficult to do even before you're singing when you're prepping for your voice kicking in and knowing what you're going to play. So do down, down, up, up, down. But if you can, down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm trying to pick out the thinnest string or the thinner couple of strings on the up strums and the thickest one, at least pick out the root note when we change chord. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Just stay in the G. Now that's the same throughout that whole first sequence. The up to. is absolutely the way to go. The only time, as I say, it kicks up a gear a little bit is when the strings kick in uh, after that first chorus, we get this pattern, which is much trickier. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. To see these strumming patterns written out in a printable format, make sure you click that link in the description, go on the website and have a look at those. I'll have them written out for you. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Demonstration. So that's the strumming pattern from there till pretty much the end of the song. It does occasionally go back to... Yeah, it's pre pretty much the whole time it's, it's going to stick to that sort of more complicated one. If at any time you want to switch back, you always can. You've got that option, but that's the way to really nail it to the record. 
let's have a focus on the picking hand now and get how to do this um, picking arpeggio pattern for the intro and the ending. So, importantly, you need an anchor point to be able to play the, any sort of single string part uh, that is an arpeggio. If you anchor your little finger here, or the outside of your hand here, which is so popular, at some point that's going to really restrict you, but I've also, as a teacher, I really say not to do that and rest your wrist. But I've also seen some brilliant guitarists such as Niall Rogers who kind of lean on the outside of their hand and use their little finger at resting all the time. So I can't tell you, you know, not to do it, but I've found great success myself and with my students when I really focus on resting my wrist here above sort of the sound hole in this sort of area and picking like this. But most importantly, is going to be a wrist motion the whole time. And if we just cover the pattern on the G chord first of all, we're going to hit the root note, which is string six. So it's thicker the string, higher the number. String one to six. Six, four, two, three, two, four. And that's the whole thing. That's the whole pattern. It's the repetition and the speed. So six, four, two, three, four, two, six, four, two, three, four, two. Now you can pick those all in a down strum or a down pick. But it's way more economical to do it with directional picking or just actually keeping your hand moving up and down the whole time like when we were strumming it before. Directional picking moves in the direction is towards the next string you're gonna pick. Down, down, up, up, down, up, does that. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And when we change our chord, we just need to change the root note, but everything else stays the same. So it's five as the first one, and then the same, and then Four. To get the rhythm as well as the notes is so important. So many people play this when they first start off. And it doesn't sound like the riff if we do that. thing about this, which even I did in the demo on the last time just before I'm singing, is you can strum it a little bit. If you hit more strings than you mean to, if you do not pick like this and you pick You've got the rhythm right, your picking action is fine, you're playing the right chord, you're hitting the root note, and you're doing something which is very, very close. You know, it's better to try and get something like that more up to speed than to always be doing correct picking, but have no timing and be absolutely nowhere near the speed. You want to arrange this for yourself so that you could play it. In the original, he does keep that picking pattern going throughout the whole rest of that first round of the verse, bridge and the chorus. It's something unpredictable, but I'm it's right. 
I hope you have the time of your life. It's much harder to do that and sing at the same time, and that's something I really think you should have a go at with this song. Feel free to do your version within the parameters that we've looked at today. You can always strum it, but you've got that picking if you so wish to. So that's how to play Green Day, Time of Your Life. Please check out these other videos here if you like this one. We've got some other cool ones there such as Wonderwall and Yellow that are around this level but uh, should really give you more songs for your repertoire and that you should dig. Uh, please subscribe below if you do like this video and support the channel. Check out what other videos we've got available and hopefully I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.